Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have covered a good chunk of Claude Code UIs till now. Like Claudia, Claude Code Web UI, Terragon, Crystal, and whatnot. However, there's also a little boy who was left in the background that no one talks about, but is pretty useful, and that is Gemini CLI. Most of you would know about it as Google's alternative to Claude Code, but it is also fully free with models like Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is quite a good model. Now, it is also a CLI, and it didn't have a good UI until now. But now, it has just that with this Gemini CLI UI repo. This is a fork of the Claude Code web UI, which I have covered before. But this replaces Claude Code with Gemini instead, which makes it a really good option to have a UI for Gemini CLI. It is a web UI, which means that you can easily host this and then use it on your mobile or anywhere, and then let it run in the background and keep checking it in a bit, which is kind of cool as well. You can host it on a server or locally and then use it accordingly, which is also kind of good. It basically wraps the Gemini CLI, and you can easily select the model to use and use it for free just like you use Gemini CLI. Or, you can also use it with your API keys as well, if you'd like to use that, which is kind of cool as well. You also get options like the YOLO mode, which comes with it and allows you to give it access to all tools. It also gives you all kinds of stuff, like you can add projects and manage sessions. It can keep running when you navigate back, as well as it is responsive, along with image upload support, mobile app support, and everything as well. So, that is also kind of cool. And it works with whatever you have your Gemini CLI set up with, whether it be the free tier or the API key, as it just wraps over that. Now let me show you how it works as well. But, before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is an AI platform that combines all the best AI models and experiences at one place. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of others models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Also, make sure to use my coupon code AICODEKING20 to get an additional 20% off. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now, back to the video. To use it, you can easily get it cloned locally. Once that is done, you can go ahead and get the dependencies installed. Once that is installed, copy the env file and then you can just run it and it will get things started on port 4009 once that is done it will ask you to create a login so that the thing is secured just do that and this is what it will look like it's very similar to something like claude code web ui because it is basically a fork of that now on the left you can see the projects that you have added here as well as the sessions under each of your projects, which looks pretty good. You can go to any of them and then use that as well. You can also add any of your projects here by clicking the Add option and then adding the path of your project and then using that, which is also awesome. You also have the Settings option, where you can easily select the model that you want to use with this, along with permission settings. You can also select the YOLO mode here in order to allow all tools as well. There's also the Enable Notification Sound option that plays a sound when the task is completed as well. You can also allow some specific tools when you need that, or disallow some specific tools as well if that's needed. Now, in a thread, you can easily type in your prompt, as well as hit the at symbol 
and specify a specific file for changes as well if you need that. You can also add images here as well. Another thing is that at the top, you can see some options. For example, at the top, you can see this option which opens up Gemini itself in your browser, which means that if you prefer the Gemini CLI interface itself, then you can easily use this and use the Gemini CLI on the web easily and use that as well. There's also the option to edit any file manually without AI if you do wish to do that, which is also awesome. You can also go to the source control option where you can easily see the comments and diff edits and stuff like that as well, which is also kind of cool. Also, if you click this arrow icon, then you can also see the options of changing the theme, along with the options of configuring auto expand tools, show raw parameters, as well as auto scroll to bottom as well. So, that is kind of cool. Now, that is majorly it about the features. Let me show you how you can use it as well. Let's try to use it as well. I'm going to add a simple blank folder here, and then what you'll see is that it will get added and then we can easily create a new session and ask it to do anything. I'm going to ask it to make me a simple Minesweeper game because I just want to demonstrate how it works. Once I send it, you'll see that it will go ahead and do the stuff for you. It will just do what the Gemini CLI does in the background and it will keep updating you and everything as well, which is awesome. I liked it because I was looking for the Gemini CLI web UI for a while, and it seems that it is quite good. I hope that someone forks Claudia and makes it with Gemini CLI as well, because I like that as well, and it works pretty well. But this is also awesome and really useful, because you can easily get the task started and come back later and check that and everything like that, which is also awesome. You can also host it on a server and use it through there as well and have an alternative to Jules or Codex as well, which is quite good. Plus, Gemini CLI is free with some really good limits, which is awesome. And if you're not someone who is comfortable with CLIs, then you can surely give this a try as well. That is how it majorly works. I really liked it and thought to talk about this because... There was not a lot of talk about Gemini CLI UIs, but it is also awesome for a ton of tasks, and I thought to talk about this as well. You guys can go ahead and give this a try as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!